gotta take a lot of pictures. No one will believe what I'm seeing. Hi, Toy Collector Fun here, and today we have an Animal Planet Deep Sea Adventure Liopleurodon set. This is actually an animal that no longer exists, is extinct, but they put it in this awesome Deep Sea Adventure series. So let's open it up and check out all of the adventure that can be had. Okay, here is the set out of the box. That was a lot of work to take out. Oh my goodness. Anyway, here are all of the amazing pieces. First, let's take a look at this very brave diver that is in this vehicle going to encounter the Lyoplorodon. Here he is, here's the vehicle. As you see, it is on wheels, or as you hear maybe. It's got one wheel in the back and two up front, and it can glide, which is also a lot of fun. None of the other Animal Planet Deep Sea Adventure vehicles were on wheels that you can actually play with on land. So that's a lot of fun then, that's new. And here's the diver in here, but let's take him out so we can fully look at this vehicle. It almost looks like a um, sea dew or something that would go above the water, but it implies that it's underwater because it's got pinchers that actually pinch, see? And you can grab and collect whatever you want to collect without actually having to touch it because you wouldn't want to touch this guy, would you? He is scary. Look at that tongue. Woo, he's giving me the chills. In the back you have your propellers. So I'm saying this is gonna be an above water vehicle, but if you think otherwise, let me know in the comments below. I think it could, I think it's above water, but could possibly go underwater. And here with the vehicle comes a net to collect the samples or, or catch the barracuda animal that you want to catch down here. Here's the barracuda, which we'll take a look at in a minute. So we're gonna just attach the net onto one side of the net. Two sides of the net. And then we're gonna attach it in the front so you can grab, when you grab, when you grasp, there we go, it actually collects. And I, this is another reason why I'm saying that this is an above water vehicle. And I'll show you in a second, because if you are on top of the water, this is underneath and you can collect and close the net as you're going through the water. So if a barracuda is swimming and you're coming to it and it goes into the net, you collect it and keep going and it won't come out of the water. So that is my theory. Very cool, see how that closes the net? So let's take a look at the barracuda since I just had him caught in a net. He is pretty scary looking, don't you think? Look at him. Oh my goodness, those teeth. I don't even want to put my fingers in there even though it's plastic. He is so scary. <gasps> oh my gosh, and he's silver with blue on top and blends into the water. I think that's for camouflage with all his fins. What a very cool, realistic looking accessory. Ah, that's frightening. And now let's take a look at our deep sea diver. I guess he jumps off of the vehicle. Here he is on the vehicle, riding the vehicle. Then he's gonna jump off. Even his hands grasp, grasp the handles. This is actually really, really great toy in the detail and lots of fun to play with. So his hands grasp the vehicles and he jumps off. He's already got his flippers on and he's got a little sack here which probably has some sort of protection in case he needs it or a knife or something. And He's got his goggles on already and his vest. And here we can put on, he's got a camera because obviously you're gonna wanna take a lot of pictures when you're underwater. So let's put the camera in his hand. And he's got a oxygen tank, which is very important. We'll put that on his back because he's gonna need that. So he's gonna hold on to that because he's gonna need to know the pressure of his oxygen if he's diving underwater. And here we have, a looks like another little sack, another bag which he'll probably need. I don't see where that could clip on. Usually you put it in, in the side, but I don't see that right now. And here 
is the front of his of his diving suit. And we'll put that right on the front of him. There you go. And not sure where this piece goes. This is a for breathing, but I don't see where it plugs in here. Did that break off or is that supposed to come off? There you go. Now he looks ready. So the only piece that we don't know where it goes is here. Do you have any ideas of where it would go? Here is the diver. Take a look and let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas where this piece would go. That looks like that fits right there. How cool is that? We just figured that out together. And his feet move and his legs move so he can swim, which is really realistic looking. Right here's the diver going under the water, ready for a dive to take a picture of the Lyoplaridon. Doo -doo -doo. And then finally, we're gonna take a look at this very scary creature. Look how long that tongue is and he looks like he has alligator skin and an alligator back, but he would go under the water, I think. Oh my goodness. He's got, he looks almost like a shark mixed with an alligator, which is just, terrifying to me and I love how realistic it is when you push the button his mouth opens and closes and that is the only part of him that moves the rest is still such a cool guy now let's see what happens when he encounters the diver in the deep sea diver swimming here comes the Leo Pluridon oh my goodness Swimming back, swimming back, ah! He got pictures of him though, and he got away. Now comes the Lyopluridon for you. Today we have a Safari Limited Wild Safari Jellyfish. Look at this cool packing it came in. I think it's probably because the jellyfish is jelly-like. Hmm, let's open it up. Did you know that jellyfish are made up mostly of water? And some jellyfish glow in the dark. Okay, so this jellyfish is actually not jelly. Look at it. It stands up on its own. So it's a plastic, kind of a movable plastic. Doesn't it look like it's swimming by the way the tentacles are kind of floating to the side? So cool. I wonder if you can move them and bend them or if it was just put that way. And so it looks like that because of the shipping. Speaking of their tentacles, jellyfish use these tentacles to sting prey and trap food. While jellyfish are known for stinging, they are relatively harmless. Look at that electric blue on top. That is so cool looking. You can see it painted on bottom too. Really, really neat. And one more really cool fact about jellyfish I wanted to share with you today is that jellyfish can clone themselves. That means they can make themselves. The jellyfish is cut in two the pieces of the jellyfish can regenerate and create two new jellyfish. Can you believe that? And if a jellyfish is injured, it can clone itself and potentially produce hundreds of offspring. So amazing. We absolutely love jellyfish. Today we have an Animal Planet deep sea creature encounter. This is an awesome set. Look how scary these animals look. And apparently it lights up. I'm not sure what. I think this may be glow in the dark or maybe he lights up. So we are gonna have to open it up and check it out. Okay, here is everything out of the box. We have our giant angler fish, which glows in the dark, our giant octopus, our viper fish, our diver and his accessories, which come attached to this board. Comes with flippers, oxygen tank. It looks like a spear, a knife, goggles, and a camera and a flashlight. So we're gonna take these off and put them on the diver. There we go. I don't actually want the diver to hurt anybody, so I'm putting his spear and his knife to the side. There's actually no place to put it on here. You can use the knife and the spear or a camera and a flashlight. So I chose to put the camera and flashlight on him. His goggles fit on and his tank fits right in a whole screw in his back. And I really like him because his head moves around and he's got his diving vest on and it looks like he has a pocket here and his ankles move. 
so he can swim very fast in the water in case he gets into trouble and his arms move, of course. Now, let's take a look at the viper fish. So here's a viper fish. It actually looks very much like an angler fish. I'm not sure what the difference is. Maybe it's just a smaller angler fish. His tail looks longer, actually. That's pretty much the only thing I've noticed. And uh, his rod here starts closer back to his fin than it does on the angler fish. But let us know in the comments below if you know the other differences between an angler fish and a viper fish. It looks so realistic with his scales and the grating of the gray and his silver eyes and his very large mouth and teeth. Next is our giant squid. Another one who's a little intimidating if you ask me. His green eyes and his long tentacles, his big head. This guy is solid, plastic, and the bottom um, tentacles move around. The top does not move, but it's really neat how the, the three, oops, come off too. <laughs> the tentacles move around and apparently can come off. I'm not sure if that's supposed to, but I like that they move around. That's realistic. And in the back, the tentacles are um, stable and he has eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like an octopus should. And finally, we have the very intimidating, very cool angler fish giant anglerfish and his jaw opens and closes with all of those teeth. Look how many teeth. Scary mouth. Very realistic looking. I like how his scales are silver and black and green. Super realistic. They say the her eyes and her pole-like fin ray glow in the dark. So we're going to bring it in the dark and see if it glows. And here's our glow-in-the-dark angler fish. You, it's kind of hard to tell that it glows in the dark because I needed to show a little light in order to video, but it absolutely does. How cool is this awesome fish? Now let's have our diver swim by and explore all of these amazing fish. Chica, 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 chica. <gasps> a giant octopus. Flash the light. and a viper fish that's as big as I am. Wow. Gotta take a lot of pictures. No one will believe what I'm seeing. This has been Toy Collector Fun. I hope you had fun opening this deep sea adventure set with us. If you like this video, please click like below and please subscribe. Bye.